Okay, now we're going to start something called solving systems by using Kramer's rule. Um, now we're going to focus on two equations, two unknowns today. If time, we'll talk about three equations, three unknowns, but I don't know. This year's going by kind of fast. So first we have to define what a determinant is because we're going to use it. A determinant for two by two is A times D, you start upper left, multiply to the diagonal, minus the other diagonal, B times C. So if I said, what's the determinant of this? You would say three times two, minus four times one. So that would be 6 minus 4, which is 2. So the determinant of this would be negative 1 times 2 minus 6 times 0. So it would be negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. So the determinant, 5 times 1 minus 2 times 3. 5 times 1 minus 2 times 3. So that would be 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Go ahead and try this 1 for me, please. So 1 times 4 minus 3 times 2. So it'd be 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Okie doke. Now, we're actually going to solve using Kramer. So let's say we have an equation. AX plus BY equals C and MX plus NY equals D. So first, we they call it the coefficient matrix, whatever that is. That's where you just put the coefficients in. I call it the big D. So A, B, I kind of was really sloppy here, wasn't I? Now, there's a matrix called, or the determinant called DX. That's where you take the coefficients for X, throw them out, put in the constants, the ones without variables, but you leave the coefficients of Y alone. Then you have DY, which is you leave the X coefficients alone, and you put in the constants for the y coefficients. And what Kramer, dis Kramer discovered was that dx divided by d will give you the answer for x. dy divided by d will give you the answer for y. So let's look at a problem. So, First, I'm going to find the big D. So that would be 2, 5, 3, 1. So that would be 2 minus 15 is negative 13. Then I find DX. DX is take these coefficients and put in the constants. And just leave the y's alone. There we go. So that would be 9 minus 48. So that would be a negative 39. dy, you would take and leave the x coefficients alone. And switch the y coefficients with the constants. And that would be 32 minus 45, which is negative 13. Ooh, I'm using up too much room. So x is dx divided by d. dx is negative 39 over D, which is negative 13, which is 3. Y is DY divided by D. 
which is negative 13 divided by negative 13, which is 1. So let's try it. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3 times 1 is 3, 6 plus 3 is 9. Ooh, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So the answer is 3, 1. Now, if my big D is ever 0, then I can't do this because you need to have D on the bottom. Of course, big D stands for the big determinant. The coefficient matrix is what they call it. So this one, D would be 2, 3, 5, 1. So it would be 2 minus 15 is negative 13. Ooh. For a minute, I thought I had the same problem. So dx is 12, 5. Switch the x coefficients with the constants. And then 5, 1. So that would be 12 minus 25, which is negative 13. And dy is leave the x coefficients to 3 and switch the y with the co constants. I got a stupid fly bugging around. So it would be 10 minus 36, which is a negative 26. So x is dx divided by d which would be negative 13 divided by negative 13. And y is dy divided by d, which is negative 26 divided by negative 13, which is 2. Woohoo! So the answer is 2, 1. Uh, I want you to do, well... I think I'm going to stop this video and make another one that's going to do those two videos by determinants or Kramer's rule. So we'll see what we got.